This is how I take an account from two, three out of 10 quality scores, 2% CTR, really terrible CPA, to dramatically better results in 30 days or less. And I've actually been getting faster and faster. I was able to do this before AI came out. And now that I have AI, you know, any of those days where I'm not feeling very creative, I'm not able to speak to the user as well. Maybe I don't know the industry as well. Um, this is a proven framework that I use to get into an account, change everything about it, improve everything about it. And the clients love it. I mean, cause this just works. You can go into any industry with this type of a framework and these types of skills and you're gonna be able to completely change how the client is thinking about the account. You're gonna be able to show your work and let's just get right into it. So I've populated this initial prompt with a few pieces that you can read hopefully on the screen pretty clearly. Um, essentially, we're gonna set the goals with the AI that's gonna inform the whole conversation we're gonna have with it. We're gonna to wanna to go from a two to 20% CTR we want to get 10 out of 10 quality scores. We want to have good conversions. And this is all about Google ads. And our goal is to um, build out a single keyword ad group or tightly themed ad group structure. And we wanted to keep all these things in mind as we're answering the prompts. So we're focused on getting a 10 out of 10 quality score. We want to get good CTR. We basically want everything that any advertiser wants and wants to be able to show their client. The brand I'm working with is selling outdoor furniture sets. So this is what people might do if they are given a new account, they're giving a new brand that they need to work with. They'll, you know, type in what the brand sells. They'll ask for some keywords. They'll ask for some headlines. They'll ask for some descriptions. And this is like pretty good. You can, you can get pretty far doing this, but I think that this is very amateurish um, and you're not going to get as far as you could if you just ask ChatGPT to do something a lot more specific. So what do I mean by that? I'm gonna pop in another prompt that I use and we're going to break this all down step-by-step. Step. So for our hypothetical brand, we're not going to have the same sorts of uh, product issues or SKU issues that you might have with a real brand, but let's just assume that they can sell any of these different types of items, right? Maybe they're a wholesaler, maybe um, they're connected with a really, you know, maybe they're a really big brand, um, maybe they're connected with a really well-networked factory, right? Um, you know, there's a lot of different potential options. Um, that could uh, allow them to sell this many types of SKUs, this many types of different products. So now that we have this output, which is pretty good, we have some good different keywords that we could send to pretty specific landing pages. We're going to have it make ad groups. So we wanna start with the first one because we're doing a single uh, keyword ad group or we're gonna have uh, you know, a single theme ad group is another way to think about it. We're going to ask it about the outdoor furniture sets. These are very, very related. I would say seating, lounging, table and chair, right? Conversation. Um, these are slightly different, but uh, you know, they're, they're pretty close, right? I mean, maybe you could argue that a dining set is going to be a table and four chairs where a conversation set might be two recliners and a smaller, um, lower table, right? So we may discover that these two types of terms have different commercial intent, but I would say just for starting things off, you know, we would pick maybe out of here, the closest ones on the list. So let's actually do that. Split out the dining only and furniture only keywords. Uh, basically remove conversation sets. So let's get into the outdoor furniture slash patio set pieces. So we're gonna say, let's make a responsive search ad. Don't worry, I'll share these prompts um, in the description section of the video. Cool. 
So now we have some pretty specific headlines and you know not bad um, descriptions. Uh, you could probably go in this and have above average results just because honestly, advertisers and agencies are so lazy um, that you can really get away with so much, you know, even doing this, which I, I consider to be the bare minimum. I mean, we're what, seven minutes in this video? And that includes me explaining it. You could probably do this in five minutes or less, right? Copy paste it, throw it on the account, launch it, move on to <laughs> the next account or whatever, um, and you'd be totally fine. But one more step, right? You know, I think you could get 10% CTR with something like this. It's totally feasible. You have a really relevant keyword, a very relevant ad, and hopefully you would have a very relevant landing page. But what if we wanted to take it one step further? And I'm just gonna grab this list. I was testing this out before the video so I didn't make myself look like a fool. So what if you're not feeling like your copy is quite as good and you don't wanna take the output that ChatGPT has and then try and change it up because maybe you're not a patio set expert. I know that I'm not, but I've done some advertising in it and I know what people are searching for and I know how to make an ad that's relevant to them, but I might know, not know how to make an ad that speaks to them, right? There's relevance and then there's actually exciting someone and getting them really thinking about um, how they're gonna use the product and how it's gonna change their life, right? And that's good advertising. So what if you take, you know, Ch ChatGPT's read all of the work of all of these famous advertisers. So what if you take some of the people on the list and then have them come up with responsive search ads? So already, just looking at this, I can tell that this is a, another, it's a cut above in terms of the copy. And we're still staying within, for most of these, it looks like we're staying within our, um, our character limits, and we can ask it to you know, reinforce the 30 and 90 character limits. Sometimes GPT-4 has problems with that. But it'll even tell you right, what a different copy style is going to emphasize. So if you think about all of the possibilities for this, right, you could test product quality with Ogilvy. You could test emotional connection with Burnett. You could test you know, matching the keyword more specifically by using the original prompt. But just look at this, right? Your dream patio awaits. Outdoor furniture that feels like home. You know, cherished gatherings. Your best days are outdoors. I mean, summer's right around the corner. You launch an ad like this, people are thinking about, oh, I want to get out more. I want to, you know, if they work at home, they don't want to be cooped up in their office. Right? There's so many different ways that you could treat the prompt combined with a really skilled advertiser copywriter at your side through the AI that will allow you to take things to the next level. I actually just recently was talking with someone who applied these tactics and his CTR 10x. He's probably going to watch this video and laugh, but... Uh, this works. <laughs> it, it absolutely works. If you don't believe me, just try it with a small budget. Pop, you know, run this process through for whatever your product is, whatever keywords you're bidding for. Hopefully you're not bidding against me. Um, and you're going to see that your impression share is going to go up. You're going to see that your CTR is going to go way up. Your quality scores are going to go up. Your costs are going to go down. And I bet your cost for acquisition is going to go down too. So that's it for me for this one. I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna be sharing a lot more of how I'm using GPT-4 and um, plugins to take my Google advertising to the next level. But until then, uh, please subscribe, please comment, please like. It helps the algorithm a lot, and I'll see you next time.